Hey everyone, it's the last day of March. It's an absolutely beautiful day. There's no wind blowing. It's been blowing for two weeks, but today it's beautiful. We're going to go get in some hives today. We're not going to do like frame by frame, full out inspections, but we are going to get in there, check for population, check for brood, check for stores. And I also want to double check Eleanor, make sure there's no signs of swarming in there. She's the only colony out there that I'm worried about might swarm. Um, mostly because I don't know how old that queen is. I was told she was last year's queen, but there's no way of verifying that because she's not marked. Let me suit up and we'll go get in some bees. Let's get started. We're going to peek in right at those real quick. See how they're coming along. Like I said, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time in every hive, but I do want to check for any signs of swarming. Just a little smoke. Check our lid. Make sure we don't have a queen on our lid. And we don't. Alright, they're pretty quiet. They look pretty good. I can't tell that there's a whole lot more bees in here than there were. I did learn something over the weekend about judging the population in your hive by counting seams. So these are the frames and these are the seams in between the frames. Now if you look down in there, if the seam is more than 50% full of bees, you count it as a seam of bees. Which I thought that was a really easy way to kind of judge your population. Um, clearly, this seam is not full. This one is, and this one is, and this one is not full either. It's about half. Now, um, the gentleman that taught me that, he did say that the seam needs to be at least 50% full to count it as a seam of bees. So I'm going to say we have one, two full seams, and then two half seams. So I'm going to count that as three seams of bees. So let's get right in here. I always manage to do that backwards. Let's see if this hive is growing at all. There's some nectar in there. I think all that nectar was in there prior to, though. Let's adjust the camera a little. It is a little chilly today, so I'm not gonna leave any frame broods out for a long period of time simply because we don't want any chilled brood. There's a lot of nectar in that frame. A little bit of pollen. Same on this side, completely full of nectar. A little bit of pollen. All right. Now this is where we had brood last time. So let's see. Now I will say I did a real quick inspection of this hive about a week ago and I did not see the queen. So we want to be sure we're looking for the queen or looking for signs of her. So there's nectar on that frame. There's a good patch of bees. Lots of nectar. There's a little bit of capped brood there. And I'm not seeing the queen anywhere.
lots of nectar on this frame. I'm not seeing any eggs or young larvae, but there's a lot of nectar on there, so it could just be they don't have them on that frame. So let's move on to the next one. Easy does it. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of brew on here. That looks really nice. It's definitely a much larger pattern than I was seeing last time, which is a good thing. Oh good, look, we got eggs. I don't know if you can see them, but we've got eggs. That's great. And it looks like there's only one to a cell which means we have maybe fixed our lane worker problem. Another nice frame of capped brood. Seeing eggs, young larvae. Lots of eggs, lots of eggs. That's great. This hive is, is gonna come back, I think, really strong. Gentle. Still haven't seen our queen, but that's okay because we have seen eggs. If we don't see her this inspection, that is just fine. All right, let's see what we got on this one. Now this is natural foundation. So if there's eggs in here, they're gonna be pretty hard to see, but I do see eggs. Still have not seen one of them. That's okay though, because seeing a ton of eggs. Oh, there is our queen. There she is. Now, I'm surprised she's over here laying because there's not a lot of room for her to lay over here. But there she is. She looks good. All right, let's zip them up. I don't see any reason to go into these last frames over here um, simply because there's no bees over there so um, gosh dang it I'm so sorry girls I'm so sorry uh, this hive looks really good they're they're coming back so we're just gonna zip them up Get out the way, girls. See, they've got all this um, brace comb up here built. And I, I don't want to squeeze any in between that brace comb because I have done that. And it sucks. So, what did we say? We have three seams of bees over here. Maybe next time we're in this hive, we'll have four seams of bees. Wouldn't that be nice? Um, her laying pattern has definitely gotten bigger. And I think we fixed our laying worker problem because there's only one egg in each cell now and I'm not seeing any drones, any drone cells. So I, I think we fixed our laying worker problem. Great. All right, let's get Nella horn. Now, like I said, this is the one I'm worried about. They may think about swarming on me, so we want to look for some signs of swarming in this one. I may have to relight my smoker. Let's do that real fast. I end up having to relight it several times. It is an art to light a smoker, I'm telling you. All right, no queen on the lid. And as I mentioned, we are not going to go through this box for box for box. We're going straight down here where the brood is. We might do some seam counting as we put the the boxes back on 
just to kind of get an idea of how many bees we have in here. This box is still super heavy. Oh, I think we just had a chicken get stung by a bee. <laughs> That box is actually heavier than it was the last time I was in here. Oh, that's my little Americana rooster. What are you doing, buddy? Let me come over here and get stung. Alright. Oh, that is still super heavy. a lot of bees in this thing don't we I see one two three four five six seams of bees <laughs> but that bottom box is even worse now that is lightweight that tells me that they've moved a lot of this honey up and have put it in these supers because that top super is way heavier than it used to be so they are moving honey out of here so that the queen can come up here and start laying, I'll bet. Which is good. That's what we want. And down here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six seams of bees. Nice. Nice. All right. Now, last time I was in here, we had, I want to say, three or four frames of brood. Oh, quite a few. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. Let's get this comb out of our way. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um... I thought there were more bees in here. I don't think this box is going to swarm. There's not, there are not as many bees in here as I was thinking. Either that or they've they've gone they're, they're fully spread out with these boxes instead of being condensed you know, like I had in my mind that they were. Alright, what do we got here? Lots of nectar. A little bit of cat honey. And not much going on on this side, just a little bit of capped honey. Nice little frame. Alrighty. Oh, that's a solid frame of honey. Looking good. <laughs> Again, nice frame of honey. out of here don't need your help I try to eat my bees actually I have never noticed the chickens eating the bees you would think that they would all right we have a little bit of pollen some cat honey lots of bees and same thing on this side pollen cat honey open nectar and no bird they are being so good today I have not had one get ugly with me at all wow look at that brood Look, there's one hatching out. Won't be long, he'll be out of there. I mean, look at that brood. Eleanor is a nice queen. All right, you can see the 
Let me see if I can hold this frame and kind of show this stuff to you. So this in here, this is all capped. This in here is open brood. And there's several different uh, stages of larva in there. That is a nice frame. I'm going to get that back in there so we don't get that brood chilled. Because it's a little cold today. It's just barely 60 degrees. Next frame. Oop, I'm sorry. There's another nice frame. All stages of brood on that baby. I see eggs, young larvae. Uh, larvae that's fixing to be capped all stages on that frame that's a beautiful frame same on this side all different stages of brood that's a beautiful frame so that that's what four frames of brood or two frames of brood that's just two frames this one and this one, right? Sorry. <laughs> I keep records, y'all. You gotta keep records so you so you know what your bees are doing, right? And another frame of brood. Not quite as much on this one. Our queen didn't move up to that next box because I haven't seen her yet and we are out of the brood frames. I'm betting she moved up. That's okay. Let's hop up there and see. It's another good thing about taking a video I don't have to write this stuff down while I'm in the hive I can just go back and watch the video <laughs> it's kind of tricky to remember it when you're going through all of them excuse me honey oh Other box back on there. Smoke them down a little so we don't squish them. Alright. Now let's see if our queen's up here. This box is really light, which really makes me think that they moved most of that honey. And she's up here laying, which, you know, fine by me. That's empty, but they're starting to draw it. Or maybe it was already drawn, I don't know. I don't remember. I'm working on that one. I don't want to take that out, it's just too too chilly leave all those bees out let's see what we got here that is honey and pollen on that frame same thing nectar She's been up here laying. We've got brood in this one. I don't see her. 
right now. Eleanor is such an elusive queen. I'm going to say nine times out of ten, I do not see her when I'm in this hive. Y'all, this frame is chocked full of eggs. She has been to work. That thing is full of eggs. And I have not seen a single sign of swarming. I, I don't think these guys are close to swarming. Especially if she is last year's queen. Ooh. But the population is going to explode very soon. My goodness gracious. What a nice pattern though, right? Same thing over here. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. But like I'm saying, they have a lot of empty frames. You know, these are all from empty. They're drawing them. So I don't think they're gonna swarm. At least not right away. You know, like I was concerned they could swarm any day because I hadn't been in them for so long. It's another good looking frame. Um yep, full of eggs. She has been to work. I still haven't seen her. Oh, look, there she is. Isn't she gorgeous? I absolutely love this queen with for her tiger stripes. I mean, just gorgeous. Oh, she was getting fed there. I, I could sit here and watch her for hours, but you know, there's there's eggs all over this frame, so I want to get it back in the box. But isn't she gorgeous? Alright, let's be very careful with this frame. So, like I said, uh, you know, I was concerned about them swarming, but after finally getting to get into this box, I, I'm not so concerned about that because they have plenty of room to grow. Um, I am going to be switching to single deeps. Uh, it's just too hard to try to run these double deeps. It's, it's too much work to go through a double deep. Um, so yeah, switching to single deeps. Uh, the reason I haven't done that already is because I'm gonna do that when I split my hives. Uh, I'll just take this deep off, set it on a baseboard, and put a queen in it. You know, of course, I'll have to find Eleanor and all that good stuff, but we'll certainly do that. All right, I'm going to zip this hive up. We'll move on. See, I've only got 7% battery, and of course, my other ones aren't charged, so you probably won't make it all the way through this inspection with me. But we're going to get started anyways. Check our lid. Nope. Wow, where are all the bees? That's not good. We haven't had any cold spells. They should be here. I just saw one go in. There's still some weight to that. There's still some bees in there. And there's some bees up here, but... We certainly don't have a seam of bees. Oh, damn. The frame's stuck to the bottom. Oh my gosh, that is so heavy. There's our bees. All right, what do we got down here? I see one, two, three, maybe four. If you put with what's over here with this one, we got four, four seams of bees. So let's see how Meredith's doing. Like I'm trying to hurry so that I can get it all on film, but at the same time, you know, you can't hurry. Uh-oh. There's a hive beetle. 
see that little bastard. I don't want to shake him off because I don't want to shake the bees off. Maybe I'll remember and I can kill him before I put him back in here. That's the first time I've seen a hive beetle in Merida's hive. That is open honey and cat honey. This is all cat and this is open nectar. Little practice queen cup right there. Nothing to be concerned about. A nice frame. Oh, see all the colors in here? That's all pollen that they've collected. And this is cat tunny. It's a nice frame. I got an audience over here. You see all these chickens harassing me? All right. That's a nice brood pattern. I love it. Certainly bigger than what we were getting from her last year in August. That's beautiful. All stages of brood. Um, I don't see any eggs, but I do see some very young larvae. You know, maybe just a few days old. No eggs on that either. Just a small patch of brood. Still a nice little frame. I need to replace this frame. It's broken down here on this end. Maybe when I get ready to do my splits, I can take it out. Of course, I'm not going to be splitting this hive, I doubt. I just want them to grow. Whoa! Another nice frame. All stages of brood in that thing. Um, again, I do not see any eggs. But I see very, very young larvae. There's another nice frame. Very, very young larvae. No eggs. So the larvae that I'm seeing you know, are possibly five days old. You know, they're, they're pretty little. But I have not seen any eggs. And I, of course, haven't seen the queen. But it's not necessarily... There she is! There's Miss Merida. Oh yeah, she's over here laying. We got eggs galore over here. Hmm, I'm seeing several eggs in some of these cells. I don't like that. I don't know why. Um, we might have a laying worker over here because I need to convince them. Because we have definitely got several eggs in each cell over here. Yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna have to condense this this colony down because I don't think we got enough pheromones in here from our queen. Uh, you know, it's just too big of an area for her pheromones to have to cover because, you know, we got eggs all over cells in here. I don't, I don't like that at all. And, you know, she's got plenty of places to lay. I don't know why she would, you know, be double laying like that. So, hmm. They are getting upset with me. All right, I'm going to zip this box back up, but we may do some condensing the next time I'm in here. 
I'm not exactly sure what happened to the video at this point. Um, for some reason it started recording in high speed and with no sound. I was able to slow it down enough with editing so that we could actually still watch it. And I guess I'll just have to air, narrate it for you. Which, you know, that sucks because it was a really good inspection. There was a lot of interesting things in here that I saw. I was a little concerned about this hive swarming, but with the queen being so new, I just placed her in there August of last year. It wasn't as big a concern because generally I, the younger the queen is, the less likely she is to swarm. At least that's what I've been told. There were still a lot of bees in here. I think I counted um, between the upper and lower box like 14 seams of bees. What, what I did notice a lot of was drone cells. There were a ton of drone cells, which, um, you know, maybe it's just the time of year for drones, but it seems strange because there were not drones in any of, I mean, there were a few in the other hives, but not like in this one where they were literally stacked on each other. But I did see you know, a lot of eggs, a lot of pollen. That looks like a frame of pollen. And oh, maybe a little bit of brood in there. Yeah, that's a frame of brood. It's a lot of capped brood. And I did see a, a ton of eggs, all different stages of larva. That's a good frame of brood. You can see there's a lot going down at the bottom. What? A lot going on down at the bottom with the drones. There was one cell that looked a little like um, a swarm cell for a queen, but after I examined it closer, I realized it was just like drone cells stacked on top of each other. That's another nice frame of brood. And I did see, like I said, I saw a ton of eggs. They were, you know, all over these hives, or excuse me, all over these frames. The amount of drone cells had me a little worried though. See, there's a line of drones all along the top of that frame which as you look at it now is the bottom but it is the top of the frame and see this frame also is just covered with drone cells all along the bottom there those are all drone cells and you know maybe what, what I was thinking was that this time of year, I guess it's normal for there to be a lot of drones coming out. Because, you know, in the spring, it's natural for a hive to want to swarm. So it, it would make sense that they would produce more drones in the spring so that, you know, there would be a plethora of drones for any virgin queens to mate with. It's a nice frame of capped brood. All right, I think we're in the, the top brood box now. There's some capped honey around the top, and I can't tell what's going on that side. Doesn't look like there's much going on. Probably nectar. That's capped honey around the top. I did notice that this hive started to get a little aggressive. I mean, they weren't like trying to attack me or sting me, but I did have some buzzing around my face. But it was also getting late in the evening, and I think those foragers were coming back in. There's a nice frame of brood. 
And again, there's a lot of drone cells on there. Up around the top. That's nice. This queen is really a good layer. It's a solid pattern. So this is one of the frames that they're building a lot of cross comb on. And I actually knocked all this comb off before winter in hopes that they would draw it back flat, but they haven't. There's Jolene. She is so big. She's just a big, fat bottom girl. And, you know, it shows in her pattern. She's, she is a laying machine. But again, with this cross comb, I knocked all the cross comb out of this hive before winter. Hoping that they would redraw it flat. But they're not. They're drawing it vertically like this. There's only one or two frames that they're doing it on. Well, I say one or two. It's one or two in each box. So I really don't know what to do. I, I thought that knocking it off and putting the, those empty frames in between good flat frames that it would encourage them to draw them flat. But it hasn't. Not real sure what I need to do there. But there wasn't anything on that frame. No eggs, no larva, no nectar, pollen, nothing. The queen was on it, but that was it. And there's another good brood frame. This, this colony is fixing to explode in numbers. Because these are good solid frames. Not little patchy frames. They they have a lot of brood on them. But there's still a lot of empty frames in these boxes. This top box, I think, had two or three empty frames. And then the bottom box had one or two. So, you know, I don't think we're in, in a point where we're going to have to add any more boxes to them. Just let them fill up what they've got. And that's as far as I decided to go. This hive was looking good. I was real happy with it. And always real happy with that queen. And I know I've mentioned it before. But I'm going to say it again. I got that queen off of eBay. Well, that's that we got into all of them they all look good um yeah i don't think we have an immediate concern about any kind of swarming there's a lot of drones in jolene but um you know i, th I think that's normal for this time of year um you know more experienced keeper keepers uh leave me a comment let me know I think that's normal for this time of year. It would make sense because, you know, other swarms are, or excuse me, other colonies are going to be swarming. So it would make sense that there needs to be a high population of drones. Yeah, that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> uh, they all looked good. I, I'm really pleased with how they looked. I haven't been in them since the 6th. Except for Lagatha. I've been keeping a really close tab on Lagatha. 
just making sure that they're going they're growing um, yep successful inspection completed very happy with the brood very happy with the stores pretty happy with the population and all of them as well except for Merida and Lagatha but Merida has a really good pattern um, it's not the whole frame but it's 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 a good size pattern they're gonna grow quickly as long as she's able to keep laying that kind of pattern however um, I am upset about seeing so many eggs in those cells you know to me that says laying worker but we were having the same problem in Lagatha and when I downsized them it fixed the problem so I I took a single box off of Merida I could take the other one off as well and I will if I need to if I don't notice the problem being fixed next time I'm in there I will take it off and and they'll be in a single deep uh, so that's all for now I'm, I'm glad we were finally able to get into those hives it was a good good afternoon if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and hit that little bell so that you get notifications when I post my next video. I hope you're enjoying these videos. I hope you're able to learn something from them. And please, any ex more experienced beekeepers out there, feel free to comment on my video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I'm doing something wrong. I appreciate it. Signing off.